Yo, what's going on guys? Mo here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, today guys, we are going to discuss how to find the most probable IC candle. Okay, so today I'm going to go through two main things, okay? And as you see right here, I'm on your JPY on a four hour time frame and I'm going to go through two main concepts with you today. And the importance of finding a very, very high probable IC all kind of boils down to stacked levels okay so let's take a look at my first example now first of all i'm not gonna uh i'm not gonna be discussing any other confirmations for example we're not gonna be discussing market structure here obviously market structure like is the first basis of you forming your trade so you will not take your trade before analyzing to see if your market structure actually goes in the direction that you're supposed to be taking your trade or not um but we're not going to be discussing if there's an imbalance or if it's bullish if it's bearish today we're just going to be discussing stacked levels in the market and what i mean by a stacked level in the market first i, I have two meanings okay so the first one would be, for example, if we have a four hour IC right here, okay, if I go on to another time frame, I'll see the same IC on another time frame. So for example, I go on to four hour, okay, I'm on a four hour, I go to the three hour and the same IC is still there. And then if I go on a two hour, the same IC is still there. If I go on to the six hour, the same IC is still there, okay? That is a stacked level. Basically, we have multiple, multiple confirmations stacked on multiple, multiple different time frames, okay? That is one way to find our most... Um, our most high probable institutional candle okay so you see right here we have the three hour time frame we have this ic we have the four hour time frame we have this ic now i believe that it only appears on two different okay once again six hour okay we have the exact same ic you see how this is such, such a high probable trade because we have the same ic appearing on three different time frames i'm not sure if it still appears on the two hour okay it doesn't appear on the two hour anymore i don't know if i, I don't think it okay yeah once again eight hour and we still have another eight hour ic right here okay so this right here is a stack confirmation for me and these usually are my highest okay these usually are my highest um these are my highest probable trades right here okay so my highest institution uh, highest probable institutional candles so when i see that we have multiple multiple institutional candles in one area on multiple time frames that right here is a stacked confirmation for me okay that's a stack level now I have another example for you guys one more time so i have another institutional candle right here on the six hour time frame we have the last down candle before the up move this is my institutional candle obviously ended up clearing liquidity etc etc price comes down to this area and starts reacting now let's break this institutional candle down to multiple different time frames we go to the four hour same ic doesn't change you go into the three hour same ic doesn't change Let's see the two hour same ic doesn't change one hour not sure if it appears in the one hour or not okay and then the one hour okay and then on the one hour we have it's mini mini ic which in fact this trade obviously did get triggered at the end but once again this shows you that the highest confirmation uh institutional counts are the ones where you get multiple multiple confirmations okay stacked confirmations on different time frames okay now Another example I have is right here. On the two, I believe. Four hour time frame. Okay, so we have the four hour time frame right here. Okay, we have one. On the three hour again, we have it. On the six hour, we have it again. 50% of the six hour. And then I believe we, that's it. On the two hour nearly comes up to the week and then uh and then reacts from there okay now obviously in this trade right here i wouldn't have probably taken the i would have probably not taken the setup right here because it, once again it does go against my trend so right here if we're boiling down and if we're trying to really really form a proper setup i will not be taking this trade but this setup i will take because obviously it's still go bullish okay everything's perfect about it liquidity gets cleared we had a small accumulation right here okay liquidity gets cleared we are in a bullish structure etc we're still in a buyer zone so in that trade i would have still taken the, the setup okay once again in this trade right here i would have taken the setup okay now another thing that i want to discuss is once you have a large area of support this is, this is another very very good confirmation for you to get into a trade once you have a large area of support this is, let's say for example you have resistance right here and we have support right here okay and you have price bouncing multiple times off this level right here and what you're doing is creating a lot of liquidity 
okay and this is obviously going to be your area of resistance an area of liquidity and of resistance now price might be uh price might be distributing right here and then you might get for example a utad or a utad after distribution something like that and boom all that liquidity gets cleared and price drops down breaks structure to the downside okay we get that break of structure and there you go then upon the retracement of this trade range right here upon the retracement of that what are we entering we're entering our institutional candle zone right here and now once again look what we have so this is my institutional candle zone look what we have the open okay so this is going to be my institutional candle the open of my institutional candle lines up with the previous resistance okay so you're going to see this happen a lot now what happens here is once price comes up to this level to mitigate not only do we have a confirmation right here that it's a, a institutional candle that we have to mitigate, okay? We also have a resistance right here. So this is another stacked confirmation upon the upon the institutional candle that we have right here. And potentially we could have like an imbalance as well. So you can see you have three confirmations on simply just one level. And this area becomes a very, very reactive zone for us. And this is an area where usually price will come right to the open and it will react instantly, okay? And this is what we can see right here, okay? Uh, whoops sorry about that so once we go back up here what can we see we go to the three hour time frame we have a very strong area of resistance for us okay we break this area of resistance we clear all that liquidity and then we rush down we break um, we break structure to the downside now structure on the three hour really really wasn't broken uh, because only just week down below but if you go on to lower time frames this should have been broken okay by now but realistically for the purpose of this we're only discussing um we're only discussing the institutional can right here in the stack level right here we're not really discussing the break of structure so take it for what it is about what we're discussing right at this level right here now once price breaks down we get that retracement what do we have right in this level let's see the amount of confirmation that we have exactly this level we have our imbalance okay we have an efficient price action right here we have our resistance okay and now we have the open of the institutional candle so right here now you can see guys the amount of confirmation that we have at one level and see how this trade was so so reactive comes up right to the open of that three hour uh ic boom Recently. Now watch all these trades that we're able to, to take from these very very high probable uh, setups. So that would have given you there a nice 90 pips. That one overall there would have given you, personally I would have targeted this imbalance right here. So would have given me nearly 100 pips. Okay. And that one I wouldn't have really taken. So to kind of summarize everything that I said there. What you're looking for first of all, is an institutional candle that appears the exact same on multiple, multiple different time frames. So to recap, we have the three hour I see right here. Okay, last up candle for the move in the same location. We can find it on the four hour. We can find it on the six hour. We can find that same exact candle on the eight hour in just different forms on different time frames. Remember, the market is fractal. This is a stacked level of confirmation for me. Then what we're looking for is a very, very strong area of resistance or a very very strong area of support where we get a breach okay a breach of those highs we get the break structure down to the downside and then we get a retracement back up okay to hit exactly where our previous area of resistance is and i know a lot of people trade this way a lot of retail traders trade this way they wait for that break of the resistance and then they will retrace um sorry they will break they will wait for the break of that resistance and then they will enter on that retest of that resistance after it's broken and what uh, uh but the thing about that way is sometimes you won't have an institutional account here what we're doing is we're waiting make sure obviously there's an institutional candle before entering that if there was no institutional candle i will not just enter just because there's resistance here but that's all the importance of making sure you stack confirmation at this level because now i have an imbalance i have the open of the ic and i have the resistance okay and this could be the exact same vice versa if i literally flip the chart invert scale there you go see so if i literally flip the chart for you guys this could be seen the exact same from uh, a buy perspective okay so we have that support a break okay confirmation imbalances the ic and away it goes and see that was a beautiful beautiful trade reacted instantly so that is pretty much it guys 
Now, make sure you guys join our free Discord server. So we made a free Discord server for you guys where we share our setups, etc. So make sure to hop on that. Now, if you guys are interested in taking it one step further and joining our premium group where we send our daily signals, where we get where you get access to our smart money and our flow courses, make sure to head on to fuacademy.io and we'll catch you guys there. Hopefully everyone enjoyed this video. Hopefully everyone gained a bit of value and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.